yeah hi students this is dr badri badrinath and we will see the pharmacokinetics we start we will start pharmacokinetics today right biopharmaceutics is already completed and all the videos i have already uploaded basic considerations of the kinetics very important parameters and students if you listen properly need not to be worry about the kinetics okay entire topics comes behind you wherever you go topic will follow you because that much of powerful basics if you know systematically you can understand the subject right see pharmacokinetic basic consideration we will see plasma concentration that is a drug concentration in the plasma versus time profile very important very important if you know that concept that's it the entire concept is in your fingertips see what happen <clears throat> when the patient is consumed with a tablet like this along with the water as the tablets are uh, will be there in the stomach and here uh, it shows the disintegration dissolution will be there in the stomach okay that we know very well keep in your mind stomach inside the stomach blood will not be there blood will not be there in the stomach it is very clear only you are taking along with the water whatever you are consuming the food it will be there in the stomach that's it no blood will be there but here entire wall surrounding the stomach entire wall consists of a blood vessels okay so disintegration dissolution will be there in the stomach in the water then what happen drug will be completely dissolved here and it starts absorption either from the stomach or intestine whatever it may be from the gastrointestinal tract see here the blood so small small drug particles will start entering into the blood see here these are the drug particles see along with the blood it entered into the these are the drug particles okay now what happen as the time proceeds concentration of the drug in the blood go on increasing go on increasing 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 because uh, tablet is dissolution absorption there absorption there absorption so that there was a build up of drug molecules inside the blood so concentration as the time proceeds concentration of a drug is increased in the blood if you want to prove you take the sample here blood sample you just say, take a sample blood sample from the patient those consumed for every one hour uh, 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 1 o'clock and you check by using a hplc or a uv visible spectrophotometer or mass spectra you, you find what is the drug concentration in the blood definitely it is go on increasing no doubt in that okay now what happen there was increase only but increase up to certain extent only up to certain extent because the tablet is finished there in the stomach tablet is completely dissolved so that it was there by the same time it also started elimination all the drugs will be eliminated by the kidney isn't it blood supply will go to the kidney it start elimination or excretion from the body okay right so decreases it also decreases so it not completely go on it increases up to certain extent but decreases okay that point you have to keep in your mind later concentration of drug is decreased in the blood that point you have to keep in your mind if you want to the proof again you take the sample every half an hour or every one hour you take you fix a time table and you go on taking of the blood concentration concentration of a drug in the blood now we can plot the graph very easy graph see x axis always we are taking a time Uh, you can take in the minutes or you can take the hours okay so see here uh, the clock is there this is a time x axis hours i am taking here see this is a zero hour zero hour zero concentration of the drug see for example the patient is taking a drug at 10 o'clock okay after one hour see this is we are calling it as a one hour not 11 hours okay one hour two hour this is a 10 o'clock he consumed you take the sample at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock samples you start taking every one hour and we will start uh, and find the concentration what is there in that so we are calling it as a zero hour 1 hour 2 hour 
3 hour 4th hour like that we are calling okay this is actually when you have collected the sample okay this is the time scale hours or minutes we are taking and here you can see the concentration drug concentration in the plasma you can also it call it as a drug concentration in the blood because in the blood drug will be there in the plasma only both are same cellular part doesn't consist of a drug proteins are present in the plasma only drugs will go and bind with the proteins only free even free drug also it will be there in the plasma only whenever you want to analyze the amount of the drug present in the blood means first you have to remove the centrifugation and you have to remove the blood cells centrifugation go for centrifugation and you have to remove the packed cells okay and take only sera or pure plasma then you can determine what is the amount of the drug which is present in the plasma so both are same terms need not to be worry about that and y axis always you have to take and see here it is a arrow mark indicate it is increasing like this in this fashion it is increasing here also time is increasing in this fashion okay uh, units are here the units are micrograms per ml mcg per ml of the blood how much mcg of the drug is present since it is increasing in this direction see 20 micrograms per ml 40 micrograms per ml 60 micrograms per ml like that see concentration is increasing here 40 mcg 60 mcg like that it go on increasing it is nothing but a concentration for each ml okay very important this is very important graph <clears throat> now what happened all these terms all this terms, easily you can understand need not to be by heart to the definitions also once you pictureize your graph in your mind need not to be by heart to the definition number of definitions are there now you see here, this is a time profile what I have shown here. Okay, very good. And here plasma drug concentration. Okay, this is also increasing in, in this direction. Okay. Now the administered drug here at the 10 o'clock, I have already told you. So the patient is like this only. No drug is there in the body. And see, go on increasing, 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 increasing like that I have already told so that you can achieve the maximum concentration. This is called a CMAX. See the body entire patient body is full of the drug concentration because it is increased in such a fashion okay but excretion is also possible up to certain extents it is this point is called as a c max maximum concentration of the drug in the blood next go on decreasing see here decreasing decreasing again the person will become like this completely all the drug will be eliminated 99.9% .9 will be eliminated so that it looks like this. So how the starting? Uh, same also ending only. In between that C max. This is called a C. C stands for concentration. Max means maximum. Okay. This is a very key point where the absorption, rate of absorption is equal to rate of elimination. That point very important. And here see when the curve is increasing, this part if you are taking, absorption is dominates. Elimination will be there. Elimination is also there during absorption. One side absorption is going on, one side elimination is there. Okay, but however, however, absorption is dominates. More absorption, less elimination. So absorption dominates. So concentration goes on increasing. Now after the CMAX, the second phase of the curve, second phase, go on decreasing, decreasing here. Drug is eliminating. While eliminating, absorption is also possible. Maybe absorption... But however, elimination is more dominated. More elimination will be there. Less absorption is possible. Okay. Don't think that compl after complete CMAX only, there is elimination started. No. During absorption also, there may be some elimination. During the elimination, there may be absorption is also there. Don't get confusion at all. Okay. However, in this phase, absorption dominates. Here, elimination dominates. Right. This is the CMAX. Here you can see. From the C-max, just like a, this curve is just like a hill, just like a bell, okay? This phase is a rapid increase. Elimination is slow. That point you have to keep very elongated. You will get a tail. Always you don't write exactly the bell shape, okay? Not exactly bell shape. Here, rapid increase, elongate. This is called as a tail. Rapid increase and followed by the tail. That point you have to keep in your mind. For almost all the drugs, you will get a curve like this only. 
peak point is called as a c max that is called a maximum concentration if you go like this dotted line here you can find what you can read here what is the units are here that units are called as a c max okay from c max if you go down you will get a t max time taken by the drug to reach maximum concentration is called as is t max time taken by the drug to reach its maximum concentration so if you know the c max then only you can came to know what is a t max without the c max you cannot find what is t max c max is compulsory c max is a basic point for the t max okay right now <clears throat> after the c max and t max entire curve is there no under this curve is called as a area under the curve this area all this is nothing but area which is present under the curve a you see it is a main basic point for the bioavailability how much amount of the drug is entered is called as a bioavailability what is the rate and extent of the drug both the speed is also important how much amount is also important both are Called collectively called as a bioavailability. AUC will give the extent of absorption. C max T max give the rate of absorption. Okay. <clears throat> Now what happened after this elimination phase? Everything is okay. Quick plasma okay. Now this is also we have covered. Now we will see the remaining terminology. See this is called as a toxic level. keep in your mind this is called a that's why high here i symbolized it with the skull toxic level drug should not enter into the toxic level enter means very dangerous it should not enter now here see this is a sub therapeutic level sub means below submarine below the sea submarine sub means below sub therapeutic level this is therapeutic range so always you have to maintain tick mark here see the, this is a correct one so your drug concentration should not be c max always it should be within therapeutic range only c max c max if it goes into the toxic level then that's it case gone toxicity it starts and here it should not c max should not be in the uh, sub therapeutic zone other see here no nothing okay it's waste only simply drug is taking now this this line is called as a mec minimum effective concentration see here this point you can see this point you can see this is a minimum effective concentration name itself indicates minimum effective minimum effective means it has to cross then only you can say minimum effective concentration that's why when the drug concentration here increasing the point where it crosses the minimum effective concentration then only there is a onset of action then here only it starts showing onset of action patient starts getting cure at this time this is the onset of action and if you go down like this is the onset time at what time the it shows at what time drug sh starts showing its action start action immediately taking means immediately will not cure after half an hour after one hour in the body when it crosses the minimum effective concentration in our body it shows okay this point is also important this is this junction is important onset time onset of action okay and when it comes here down here see here duration of action this intention when it crosses here sub therapeutic zone again during the decrease that's it Uh, it stops termination of the action drug action this point termination of the action so this entire period if you see the entire period see this period duration of action how much long either it is worked for one hour or half an hour how much duration is there okay and uh, this toxic zone and sub therapeutic level difference in between that there was therapeutic range will be there this is very important most of the some of the drugs having very narrow therapeutic range actually ideally therapeutic range it should be big it is a different for different drugs therapeutic index different for different drugs that's it some therapeutic in some drugs therapeutic range is very small very problematic like this just like a this row this is nothing but a rope 
you are walking on the rope if you go this side toxicity will come if you go this side sub therapeutic range always you have to maintain the balance so that drug concentration should be always within the therapeutic range only very important therapeutic range only if it is narrow therapeutic index having a very small rope very dangerous if it is a wide range means no problem even though you are walking a little bit like that no problem at all like that you have to understand in order to understand to make you understand here you can add this diagram okay uh, so absorption rate is equal to elimination rate, rate when c max c max straight line p max this is duration of action action onset of action this is the offset of action where the termination is started okay this is called intensity of action see the height intensity of action here administration of the drug this is elimination sub therapeutic therapeutic range toxic level maximum safe concentration this is a maximum safe if you cross that no safe just like lakshman rekha this is this is also called as a lakshman rekha when you cross this toxic zone will come minimum effective concentration okay all these points definitions we can see see these are the all the parameters whatever is there in the graph they divided into pharmacokinetic parameters and pharmacodynamic parameters c max absorption phase elimination phase t max aufc comes under kinetic and remaining all maximum effect minimum effective concentration maximum safe concentration onset of action all this comes in the pharmacodynamic parameters all the definition need not to be read need not to be read once you if you understand the graph properly this is these are the definition if you want to write in the examination you can write dosage regimen is nothing but a dosing interval see dosing interval dose plus dosing intervals either you're taking morning or afternoon how much gap is giving a between one dose to another dose this is called a dose and a dosing interval collectively called as a dosage regimen collectively called okay and rational therapy it is also called as a optimal therapy choice of a suitable drugs and you have to maintain the balance between therapeutic and uh, uh, toxic effects you should not cross toxic zone you should not be below the that one see how he is walking therapeutic range only uh, drug concent you have to maintain the drug concentration in therapeutic range only some drugs having a narrow therapeutic window it is very dangerous okay little increase leads to toxicity little decrease leads to sub therapeutic wide window this is a wide window this is also called as therapeutic window therapeutic range therapeutic index all the names are further told therapeutic index is nothing but maximum safe concentration divided by minimum effective concentration it is a ratio see here ratio between the uh, is called as a drug concentration between mec and msc is called as a therapeutic window minimum effective concentration it is a minimum concentration of a drug in the plasma required to produce a therapeutic effect or directly you can read from the graph in case of antibiotics we are calling as a minimum inhibitory concentration because it inhibits the organisms no that's why we are calling it as a minimum antibiotic concentration to inhibit the action okay maximum safe concentration it is also called as a mtc minimum toxic concentration new terminology both are same only in the examination competitive exams they will ask this one msc is also called as a minimum toxic concentration once you cross that lakshman rekha toxic zone will enter it is a concentration of a drug in plasma above which or un unwanted effects will come above that and this is a peak plasma concentration c max where you will get this is also called as a peak height concentration maximum drug concentration it is a point of the maximum concentration of a drug in the plasma at this point rate of absorption is equal to rate of elimination very important bit during the absorption phase left side of the peak when the rate of absorption is greater than the elimination here when the rate of elimination is greater than the absorption it is called elimination phase area under the curve very important for the bio see here bioavailability it gives the key information regarding the extent amount of the drug information rate of information you will get with the help of a t max if you want to t max c max you have to know okay next is t max here time for the drug to reach the peak plasma concentration is called as a t max. and uh, onset of action onset time onset of action means uh, the beginning of the pharmacological response when the curve is passing uh, the minimum effective concentration onset time when the when uh, the which time it is crossing 
the minimum effective concentration is called as a onset time duration of action it is a time period for which a minimum uh, class and how much time how much long it was worked intensity of action intensity okay it is a height peak height it is nothing but a peak height it is a maximum pharmacological response produced by the c max right so uh, these points are very important for all pharmacokinetics the entire kinetics will become a fingerprints no problem at all at your fingertips 